Okay, welcome back to JD Solar and EV. Uh, we're doing a little bit of an update from the last video where we, where I showed you the solar pool heater, and it's still working away. Night, we've had a run of nice clear days, and it's pushing in that 30, 31 degree water into the 25 degree pool. But uh, what, uh, having, having been only the first year that I've had this pool. Um, I have to monitor what's happening on a pretty much a week-to-week -week basis, but the uh, what I've noticed is over the last two weeks that the I think the shade of the house and the azimuth of the sun is actually causing the water temperature to drop dramatically, seeing as uh, the sun on the pool was the number one factor for the pool heating. So when we first got a pool, uh, I got a pool blanket and we haven't really used it because it's been too hot and they clearly stated when we first bought it that uh, if you roll it up and leave it in the sun it will melt itself because it generates that, that much heat. So what I'm going to do today is um, put that on and we're, I'll do an update video and measure it in a, a week or two and see if there's an improvement or none in the water temperature. Okay, so as you can see, we've had this uh, custom fit. I believe they do that with all pools, but the, uh, I'll come back in a couple of weeks and let's see if it's made a difference to the water temperature, which is currently flat 25. All right, welcome back. It's been eight or nine days since the last video and uh, been, the cover's been on the whole time, except for yesterday where we threw some chemicals in and you do need to leave the cover off one day a week because the chlorine builds up and can get too potent. And that actually was happening uh, when we took the water over for a test, so important to note. Um, had also had a bit of a hiccup where uh, the day after I did the last video, I start, I'm, I'm in, just remember we we're going from a base of 25 degrees. Uh, the day I, after the video I measured it and we were at 27 degrees when I measured it. Uh, the next day after that, 31. And I think what happened was I replaced the battery in the temperature gun and with a lithium battery and it threw it all out of whack. So I replaced the lithium battery with a regular battery and the temperature gun seems to be working properly now. So. Uh, but on that, a little bit of bad news, which is there doesn't seem to have been so much benefit from having the pool cover on with the, with the pool heater going. Uh, it's still sitting around 24 and a half, 25, but it's a little bit hard to gauge the benefit of having the pool heater because uh, you can't really measure the same days and weather of um, versus not having it versus having it. So um, at the moment, not much um, scientific evidence to say that uh, it's making a difference, but it is better to have it than not have it in my opinion. I do, I do also want to show you how much water is um, getting put, pushed through the actual pump. Um, so we'll just take a closer look at that now. Alright, welcome back. Well, this is the second or third time I'm filming this because uh, I'm cognizant that every plane, helicopter and garbage truck wants to uh, do their business today. So um, I did already record this but I had a bit of a look and the audio wasn't the greatest so I apologise for that. Um, maybe you can 
check out the bloopers at the end of the video. I might uh, show you what I put up with. But um, what I want to show you is how quickly uh, the water is coming through. Uh, this is a two and a half litre container, so I'll time it and you can use the seconds on the YouTube video. Uh, we'll see how quickly it fills up. But uh, just to give you some idea, you know, this is how quickly it, it's coming out. Uh, probably about, well, obviously it's about half speed. So open it up full and um, comes out a bit quicker, but just to you don't want to restrict some of the, the speed of the flow so it warms up a bit more. But um, I'll put it back to about half, which is uh, where we normally have it. And uh, let's time it. Okay, here we go. And uh, just while that's filling up, uh, we haven't had the clearest of days over the last seven or eight days. It's, it's been a bit uh, overcast. So I'm not sure how much of an effect that's had on it as well. And stop. Okay, so I get about 20, 23 seconds. So we're looking at about uh, 7 litres per minute. And seven times six is seven times sixty is uh, four hundred and twenty. So you're looking at something around four hundred and twenty to four hundred and fifty liters of uh, warmer water getting put in every hour. Um, if, if is that having a difference? Well, it's a bit hard to gauge. But um, the other thing that's also hard to gauge is if should I have it on full flow have a lesser temperature going in or do I have it on a uh, lesser flow with a higher temperature so it's a bit hard to um, scientifically make calculations around that um, it's probably around about a 40 40 to 50 somewhere in that range maybe 45,000 litre pool so um, not too sure not not too conclusive as to whether it's making a difference, but uh, uh, I hope you've uh, enjoyed this and it's been informative and I'll see you on the next one. have it restricted on the end of the hose. Uh, this, was a, this was a tap here so it should have no restriction at all. But, uh,